Hey, welcome to Pappy's Secrets. So my grandson, who will remain nameless, asked me, how do I improve my bowling? I'm not hitting a hundred. So anyway, don't want to name him, but here's a tip. Tyler, this is for you. Hope it helps. Here we go. Peace, everybody. Welcome to Pappy's Secrets. Today, we're gonna to teach you a little bit about, well, I'm gonna let you guess. I'll show you what we have for the setup here. So we have an eight foot tall ladder. A can of uh, paint and some uh, tape, blue tape and white tape. And at the top of this eight foot ladder here, is a really cool and high-tech device. It is a laser level. All right, I'll show you how that works. Okay, for this high-tech operation or production, uh, we also have to have, well, I'm not gonna tell you yet. So with those things in mind, what do you think we're gonna teach you today? Little construction, maybe. All this stuff is construction stuff. What else could it be? Well, you're never gonna guess. I'm not gonna keep you waiting too long. We're gonna teach you how to bowl, all right? Well, Pappy, uh, you might notice my nose is a little crooked. That's from when I was a semi-professional boxer and because of the nose accident, I had to take up something else. So I took up bowling. Yeah, from 1992 to 1993 and a half, I was the uh, Bay Area champion for our league for uh, a half a season. So I've, I've got the, the uh, creds to teach you bowling, I think. So what we have in this fabulous production is the paint can, which will act as our bowling ball. You'll see how that works. This is our bowling alley. This is Pappy's bowling alley. You can see down there the head pin. Come on down. The head pin is a uh, martini mixer. And then uh, up here, these are the diamonds that you will typically see in a bowling alley. A little white tape. And then, this is our foul line. There's our whole production. We're gonna use this rope here to show you the angles to use. And uh, I think we're about ready to get started. Let's go. Let's bowl a 300. Welcome to Pappy's Bowling Alley. Gonna teach you a little bowling today. Let's do it. So you always, uh, when you go to a bowling alley, you have a, a choice of balls you can use. Now, I prefer, I have two choices for this lesson. Uh, I've got the yellow, kind of a medium weight bowling ball paint can, but I really prefer the, the beige or tan taupe, you might call it. And the plastic container, it's really got a good feel to it. We're gonna teach some good bowling with this. So the key to bowling is first, you don't wanna change the stroke. You don't want it to move. You don't you twist your arm, you don't twist it either way, and you don't force your arm to go sideways. If you take the paint can slash bowling ball and you just swing it naturally, and you have to know where that line is. That's the first part. The, uh, the second thing, here are the diamond marks in the floor. Those are 15 feet out uh, from the foul line in a regular bowling alley. So you wanna look at those diamonds.
I changed them to blue tape, so I think you can see those better. What you wanna to do to line up your shot is use your eyeball and make a line from where your arm is. Find the diamond point that's gonna make your ball. You wanna find the diamond point here in between the diamonds that will make your ball hit just inside the head pin. You don't wanna hit it directly. You're likely to get split pins that way. So you wanna hit in between the head pin and the second pin. That's your goal. Don't worry about spin or doing anything fancy until you get a lot better. So take your bowling ball and then find the foot position that is comfortable for you. Once you get that, you always know how your swing is going to be. And you just use the weight of the bowling ball, nothing else. So now, I find that, that with my comfort position, that white line is what I want to follow. You can see the white rope that I've laid out. It goes all the way down just to the right of the head pin. That's our line. Now, if you watch from back there, if I'm like this, you can see that I'm not following the white line. My angle is just to the right of that, and I'm probably going to hit down the way. So, in your mind, you're watching this point and this point on the diamonds. You're making a, a line with your eye and your mind, and you want to swing along that line. And as soon as you feel comfortable, you see the line, you see the head pin, then you let her rip! You roll it easy, you let it go, and that's how you may or may not get a strike, but you'll knock a lot of pins down. So practice that. Easy swing, know where your foot position is relative to the direction of your, your throw. Don't change your throw without changing your foot position. So if I want this line over here, I move around a little bit, until my natural swing is in line with where I want the ball to go. And that's how you throw strikes and win at Pappy's Bowling Alley. Good luck. Hey you guys, little follow up on the production. Something I totally forgot, but I did point out to you on the equipment at first that we had this really cool laser thing. Unfortunately, because I had to make the hallway too dark to see it, I couldn't use it, but look at how cool this thing is, man. I wish I could have used it. But that's it. Happy bowling.